Now then guys, how are you doing? So we're back on the road again today, right? I'm in LA and I've come to a place to meet a friend of mine. Now, a while back when I first started posting on YouTube, I got a bit of a tweeting and it was from, should I say, somebody that made my childhood a lot, lot better, all right? They did a cartoon or involved in a cartoon that as a kid, I absolutely loved and as an adult, I still enjoy. And I've managed to get him to come along today on Rate My Takeaway. And we've got Josh, Josh Weinstein from Hello. Who Was on The Simpsons. Yes, creator of, writer of. Yeah. Right, not really creator of. Yeah, well, writer. Writer yeah. hanger on. Yeah, writer oh, hanger oh, on. <laughs> and look but, at this, guys, he's rocking me merch as well. Bosh. Bosh. Right. <laughs> this is a thrill for me. Yeah. Because it's for like the last two years, you've made my life. Maybe we made our people's childhoods happy. Yeah. But you've made like my life like so happy. Oh, thank every, you. Every video. It's just weird because yeah. obviously for me, I get that from a lot of people, but getting it from somebody like like yourself, who I've idolised your work all my life, it's just it's just a bit weird. It's, so we're going here, aren't we? This is where you fetch me, Hi Ho Cheeseburger. Hi Ho Cheeseburger it has like four locations in yeah. LA, and my family and my usually we usually go to the one in Santa Monica. I've never been to this one. This is Marina Del Rey, which is one of the more beautiful parts. It does it looks nice of LA? But yeah. Let's let's Let, try it out. Let's go. Let's All go. Right. All right, Josh. Let's All go right. uh, yeah. order let's some try. food. See what's on the menu. Oh, now then, cameraman. So we've got a selection of burgers on that menu. I've got. I've, I've been a bit greedy and gone for two. All right, Josh. Let's go All get right. a table set up. Here we go. And we'll go here. Look at this. This is, I can't believe I get to see this live. Well, this table, yeah. this is the obviously the the, the original. The, <laughs> but it, it look, does. I get to see it yeah. up close. So that, that there, that was from when we did the, uh, when we went to Dublin. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we got on the plane, and that's what they did on the plane oh. from, from Scotland. It's not even food damage. So, right, I've got your chair. All right, here you go, mate. See, this is American style service. This is it. Well, it is because I've just took smile. it from the restaurant. Yeah, thank so, you. <laughs> go. Right, knacker cracker away. I'm sure it's knacker. away, that's it. What an honor to J pull up my knacker cracker. I'm hoping mine's all right. There you go, yeah. we're in. And then I just pull it like that. There you go, a little pull. So, and right. Bosch. Bosch, that's it, Bosch. So we're here, hi ho, cheeseburger. We've ordered us food. I've got a cheeseburger and a chicken burger, and I've got fries and a shake. And you ordered it. I got a chicken burger. Yeah. I usually I alternate between getting the cheeseburger. My family always just gets the cheeseburgers Cheese. and loves them, but yeah. I kind of alternate. Yeah. So before the food comes, have a bit of it. So like I said, you, you worked on The Simpsons. All right. Amazing. Amazing. It's an honour. So. What was it like working on that? That's what I want to know. It was, I, I was telling you guys, yeah. too, it's, it was amazing. Yeah. It was because, like you, we were fans. My writing partner, Bill, and I were huge Simpsons nerds for the first two seasons. Yeah. So when we got hired, it was, it was literally a dream come true. And when we first got there, probably for like the first six months, we were really quiet. Because like we were, it was like the pantheon yeah. of comedy gods. Like every person in the room was hilarious. But what we soon found, and I think it's different than a lot of other shows, is everyone was so nice. Right. And everyone was like such like, just like nice, nerdy, thoughtful people. So it, so the it was writing easy. process was would that be that you would all just sit around in a room around a table and just start throwing ideas? It's not unlike this, but mm -hmm. with like four more of us yeah. sitting and waiting for food. Coffee, donuts, yeah. sandwiches. The food was a huge part. Like waiting yeah. waiting for food to arrive was the big highlight yeah. of the day. So it's very much like this sitting around a table. There'd be a room. We didn't have this nice of view. Yeah. We just had a view of a parking lot. But it really was just like sitting around a table, pitching jokes and talking about that, story ideas. That, that makes sense, that guys, because I, I always say me that uh, you know, food can 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 provide you with so so many happy memories. Yeah. Because it brings you together as a family, it brings you together as friends, 
and I suppose you know sat there having a sandwich or a donut and, and writing comical scenes for such an iconic show I can just imagine it now you're all sat there so oh, what's Mark gonna do pass me that donut <laughs> yeah no we got sick of donuts oh yeah very quickly yeah. but I can't tell you I can tell you I remember meals that we had as yeah. much as other memories of the oh, show oh yeah because it, w it, w it was such like a, a highlight of a day and it's also when you're locked in a room for 10 to 12 hours a day Oof. there's not much else you get to do. I would not want to be locked in a room with cameraman for 10 to 12 hours. <laughs> I can see I, 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 I can, can stomach about an hour of him. Right? Then he does <laughs> me head in because he wants to get down gym. <laughs> so, but yeah, so what? what's your favourite moments? Have you got favourite episodes that you've done? Have you got favourite moments? Yeah, and, yeah I what, think there were, I think it's, there are, there are certain episodes that really like made The Simpsons what it is, like yeah. where they figured out is like the simpsons has many different gears going at the same time yeah and there are a couple of early episodes where it suddenly was this amazing comedy yeah. machine and i think like marge versus the monorail yeah written by conan o'brien was i think that's kind of the ultimate simpsons episode that's where everything clicked yeah and that's where everybody like we were still new guys on the show but i think that's where you could see like that's what the show can be yeah and, should and what be. it can do and, and it is it's powerful because you know no matter where you go I, I think in the world i mean i've been i've been to italy france spain and i've always turned the telly on and you can always guarantee at some point of the day there'll be an a simpson an, an episode of the simpsons yeah. on and, and you know and it, it's it's weird like well, i remember when i first saw it in spain and then bart speaking spanish like what's what's going on here oh yeah and they've got some great voice cast in yeah. all different parts of the world and so the people even who do those voices became celebrities like i know the mexican homer was right. a huge celebrity right in mexico so because he did the because he did and he did a particularly good job yeah but it's it was really it's great for us like old guys because when we were doing the show in the 90s there wasn't any internet right so we had no real connection to fans and people out there it's only now like meeting people like you yeah or cameraman or editor who grew up with a show <laughs> i met We've editor it. yeah it was met the editor and the, so the editor's with us as well guys because josh can vouch he's met him <laughs> that's i guess i should have just said no no you're all right the, people but, think i've just fetched the cameraman yeah. all right but i needed the editor because he carries my bags <laughs> there's, there, there's still mysteries about yeah. this show that's that it won't be revealed. yeah he's not seeing the faces because they've got balaclavas on <laughs> all the time <laughs> Uh, so, w when doing The Simpsons, obviously you, you've got you've got kids yourself. Uh, what was it like for them growing up, having a dad that's that's working on The Simpsons? I think I was still just the embarrassing dad. Yeah. Like that's you probably know that. It's like when your kids are little, and then but it's only now now they're in their twenties, yeah. and it's very gratifying because they're like, oh, dad, you did the best episodes, yeah. or who did this? Now now they're always saying, who came up with this joke? Right. Who did that joke? And if it's one of mine or, or Bill, my friend Bill's, then it's kind of a thrill. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I did that. I made. Because my kids, they obviously were rate my takeaway. Uh, when I first sort of went viral on YouTube, they were like, Dad, you know that you're becoming a YouTuber? And I'm like, well, I don't really know what a YouTuber is, but yeah, you know, let's go with it. And then as time's gone on then and people are recognising us in the street and I'm with my kids. Now it's, it's got to a point where sometimes, like with my daughter especially, it gets a bit embarrassing for her because her friends at school will say, oh, I saw your dad last night and they were eating that big kebab somewhere and it was really funny and this, and then, but her perception's like, oh God, here we go again. Uh, but I suppose hopefully as she gets older, as they get older, it's going to be yeah. like yours, they're going to appreciate. Yeah, when you get older, you the, appreciate you, things. You know, when you're a kid, you, you sometimes when your parents, no matter what they do, they're going to be embarrassing, aren't they? But I still love you, mum, dad, still love you. <laughs> Uh, so what other, what other things have you done? What other programs have you have, have you been involved in? That's well. After uh, we were on the Simpsons, when we were on the Simpsons, we were really young. I'm old now. I'm 56. Not but bad. Old. I'm only a few years behind you. <laughs> that's get, it, get wait. It'll, you'll get creakier and creakier. Uh, oh, oh, I'm that's, getting that's like that now. Bad. They always moan at me because it gets to nine o'clock and I want to go to bed. <laughs> that's a thing too. Yeah, it's like it, that's when it. I was. Young. This I don't know if it's it. when I was young. You could stay up all night, and that's a thing like the Simpsons too. Yeah, it's like we'd go to like midnight or two a.m. working on it, and now I'm old. Like I want to go to bed at nine or ten. Oh. Like I'm asleep. So 
that's it. So uh, like we work, it does affect it, doesn't it, as you get older? Yeah. Because and I used to don't know about you guys, but I, like my mum and dad growing up, they used to say, "Wait, why you're older? You're gonna do it." Yeah. And like now, I'm saying that to my kids, and I'm thinking, "Yeah, they were right." Yeah, yeah I were. never. You don't. But that's the thing. The curse of youth is like you don't listen. Yeah. When you're young. Yeah. Up here we go. Look here it is. Thank you very much, mate. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Okay, it's no problem. Strawberry, chocolate, food. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. No right, well, we'll get this sorted out, and then so this is the. I think that's yours. With the. Oh, it's one chicken sandwich anyway. That's a classic. Yeah. So that'll be a fries then, won't it? Yeah, that's Yeah, these are bag. weird bags, aren't they? Is that that is like, I, got, I remember when we first got these, it's weird. And we've got my other burger there. And then, do you want any? There's some napkins here. We better get these out. I always get a bit uh, yeah. sloppy, me. This is so, <laughs> it's so weird for me to actually be in the show instead of just watching it. But I know about the napkins. Yeah. The blow, look, you know, you yes, pin yeah. them down so I don't, because I don't like littering. So then I'm up and I'm off. And then I'm worried about my seat breaking when I'm sitting back down. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but you're saying that. Oh, look, there we go. Look, as soon as I say it, it's off. Tickets flew off. Look, we'll get that. There we go. I don't want that going down here. Right, I can crack it away again. There we go. Nope, not another chair test. <laughs> it's great to have you on. And uh, like I said before, it, when I got the message on Twitter from yourself, I didn't believe it at first. But it reminds me too of like, the, I still remember like the very first meal we had at the Simpsons because I was such in such awe. Yeah. I could barely eat it, but I remember it. And it was a chicken salad sandwich. Right. And it's like, I only could eat like half of it because I was yeah. too nervous. And I remember, and I can remember the flavor like it was yesterday, but trying to find the place, what a nightmare because they were knocking buildings down around yeah. it. The front of the shop were closed off. So where I, I'm like looking, because there's all this pile of rubble. But it was, that's where it was. And I went in, it was called Mojo's. I went in, got the kebab, and it, the first episode, it was just really all over the place. I took it somewhere. On a hot day. Yeah, I've got, so I've got a day. nice strawberry shake here. Because they look amazing. Let's have a go at these. Oh. I mean, people have different tastes in fries, so yeah. I have no idea like what you, what type of fries you like. So with these, I think they must be a triple cooked or something and they're like sort of like overcooked aren't they they've overcooked them but i like that because i think it gives it a bit of bite yeah, to the fry. yeah i like the crispy on the outside yeah. so i like that you it's nice and crispy You've got a lot of salt on them season well and i like that so do you like the fries here Yeah. Everybody loves the burgers, but, not but the it's fries. about half and half who like the fries. People are very picky about yeah. their fries. Well, this is what I said. When I do a review, it's all about, when I review it, it's all on my taste. So I know like, uh, my daughter, she would like these, but my son, he wouldn't entertain this whatsoever because he'd say they're too overdone. But for me, I like them. So we've got two smashed patties, cheese, ketchup. Oh, look 
at that. They look like they season well. Yeah, they're really because they're very simple. Yeah, they don't put it like some LA cheeseburgers. Are, toasted bun. They have tons of stuff on it. Right, let me have a try of this. This looks good. Oh, they're nice burgers, them, aren't they? They're good. Yeah, they are good. Ah. Oh. Caramelise the outside, but there's, it's soft on the inside. Then you've got a load of cheese, but the bun has been toasted on the inside, so you've got a slight crunch. That is really good, and the meat is just cooked to perfection there. Yeah, that's got pickles, some yeah. sort of cabbage, yeah. kind of coleslaw cabbage, then just a nice like chicken. Yeah, chicken. You guys call it a chicken burger. Yeah. We'd call it like a chicken patty. Chicken pie. But, but it's like chicken, then mayonnaise, and a toasted bun. I think that's yeah. like one of the best things. Looks like a fish butty. <laughs> From yeah. there. It's like a big fish butty. You got a bit of spice there on the batter. Look, that kind of lamb. Whoa! And the cabbage gives it a nice crunch. Yeah. You can take out the pickles, I won't be insulted. <laughs> it's not if you... What I try to do is try it first with yeah. it. It's, it's, it's proper toasted, it's hard. So it's not been just chucked on a grill. It's been proper toasted, so there's a crunch. They've been cooked, I would say, to their death, <laughs> aren't they? They've They're been one fried step up. Away. But I quite like the fact that you've got a burnt fry, and for me, you can cook. You know, it's, it's a it's a choice, isn't it? You can come here and say, oh, yeah, I'm not going to go there because I want to have that bit of a texture of fry there. The burger is absolutely amazing. I've got to say, those, those two beef patties with that toasted bun and the cheese, it just melted in my mouth. Probably, probably the best burger I've had so far on my tour. And then I just, I'm just blown away by this chicken. I know it's your favourite burger, so is it? what's the score from you? The chicken, I think it's delicious. Yep. It's really kind of cooked perfectly. It's not the, be it's not the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Yep. So maybe, but it's so good, I say like 9.5. 9.5. And I know like the bur when we've had the burgers, and those yep. are a 10 for me. So it was $33 for all of this. Which I don't, you know, for, for what you're getting there with the beef and the chicken, I don't think it's too bad. Thank you. I appreciate it's a thrill it. It's and an yeah. honor. It's so, it's <laughs> both great and and see the behind the scenes magic yeah. of it all. Well, that's and it. And you know what? It's pretty good. I'll get you it back at van. We'll go for a drive and we'll go find yeah. some fish and chips and we'll do some. I want to ride in the van. Yeah. I want some good fish and chips. Really? Yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to see you on my next part of the tour. I hope you've enjoyed this because I have. <laughs>